Lord God, all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. upon this brother for all you have done Lord we thank you so much glory belongs to you Jesus Always. we thank you so much brother as this brother be able to be able to go out and share the gospel being able to you know, use them Lord to bring those who are lost unto you Jesus Lord that you may use them according to your will Lord guide him and watch over him and if any temptation and tribulation comes his way that he may overcome Lord that he may use them Lord for the glory of your kingdom in Jesus name Amen 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 Oh, praise the Lord. <laughs> Amen. Amen. of your faith and I'll baptize you in the Father, the Son Jesus Christ and the Holy Ghost. Raise your hand, follow to Jesus. Thank you Lord. Thank you Jesus for your love and your mercy and grace. I'm not ready Lord. Lord, use me, Lord. Use me today, Lord. I'm a willing vessel, Lord, to your kingdom. In Jesus' name. Father oh God, I thank you, Jesus Christ, for this new creation in Christ. She died in Christ and arises a new creation in your mighty name, Jesus Christ. I pray, Lord, that you may use. 
sir, as a vessel for your glory, for your kingdom, Lord. That you seem able to reach out to those who are lost. For the glory of your kingdom. That you seem able to reach out not only to those who are lost, but to be able for her family and loved ones around her. That you may shine her light and move in her. For those around her. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Willing soul. Amen. Did you um did you feel anything? Yeah man. So like free. Because oh, I'm looking up, I felt kind of like heavy, like, oh. Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! <laughs> How do you feel now? When you go down and up, you just feel like, oh, like all the things we were talking about. Hey, come. And you've been like a new creature, and then I really felt that it came up. Praise the Lord! Nice! Hope he's gone. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. I praise God, man. Amen. Yeah, Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. We've never seen anything like this, eh? For real. Man. Oh, it's pretty overwhelming. Get some more. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Woo! So, we all met up at Strawberry Farm in Mangry. Um, it was good. Yeah, it was kind of awkward start to just you know, kind of get to know them, but yeah, it was good. Got to know who they are, and, like, and um, we kind of went to this beach. It's like near. It's like near the area. I was kind of going. Uh, like I think it was the back of a strawberry farm, and we came to this place. Like it's like a it looked like a creek or river. And man, um, so from that day, from that place, we kind of. But to sat down, you know, kind of told our uh, like our background testimonies, and man, and just seeing what we had in common, because um, how we all came from Methodist churches, and um, just having the understanding about um, you know that you know, just yeah, you know, just seeing that common errors we kind of see, and like when we kind of understand the truth, and um, you know, and just seeing how, like what the Lord has you know, done in our lives, especially as you new know, as young young adults you know it's just a, you know, amazing to see what the lord has done in our lives not only in my lives but as others as well around me and um so yeah, it was good to kind of you know, hear from their backgrounds and why they came you know they hunger for christ to be able to come this far after leaving their family you know um but yeah it's just man it's just wow because um apparently before like we kind of met up in that um yeah um we kind of got discouraged, or uh, they kind of got discouraged because we were taking too long. Um, so they came to us, but we all just praise the Lord that they were still encouraged to be baptized. And um, so after that place, but where it was, uh, we kind of went out to another place. Um, so that's when we kind of got the chance to baptize them. But before we went into all the baptisms, we kind of had like a long session of helping them understand what baptism is. And, um, and man, what caught my attention is um, just seeing their hunger, especially like when we share verses you know, through with Brother Nolo, Brother Saya, and just helping them understand through the Word of God. It's just wow, just seeing their hunger just it was just blowing them away, yeah, like just helping them you know, to have a good understanding. And it came to a point where, um, yeah, we kind of looked out to the water. The water wasn't as, good, like, wasn't as good as we expected, you know, it was kind of low tide. And um, we went down to, um, from that point on, when we wanted to get baptized then, we asked them if you still want to get baptized and they were still like encouraged to, you know, to be able to, you know, even when the water is just it's too shallow, they still wanted to get baptized because there was water. And um, so yeah, we got the chance to be able to go down. And man, and one of the trials that we had to face like, with this baptism is that um, the water there was, it was just really muddy, you know, there was a lot of shells. And you no know, we were cutting off like man just going that far 
No, I think Sai cut his feet, but you know, just our faith and, and their faith as well, and their hunger for Christ to be baptized and to go that far. You know, because man, we had to like walk up like, like at least it's like a good distance, in, like at least I don't know, like sixty meters. You know, to go that far in order to get baptized, and like man, but with this baptism, um, so. But for with me, um, I've done baptism with Nolo, but man, just being able to step out of my comfort zone and just having that confidence, confidence to be able to like um, to baptize with Brother Nolo, because like man, I always like I kind of feel comfortable with Brother Nolo, but like, but man, just being able to do it with another brother is just a good experience. Not only that, but it kind of built my confidence spiritually, especially in the Lord, and um, yeah, it's just wow, man. Praise the Lord. And um yeah. Um so yeah man, it's just after they got baptized, this is what caught my like, attention the whole day is um so but while we're having fellowship, like helping them understand about baptism is um the security guard came and he said, Oh sorry, we're closing up just when we just finished. And like he said that, oh sorry, and he goes, we were meant to close two hours ago, but that two hours ago we were still you know, fellowshipping, and I was like, wow. And what I got is that this truly is you know, the Lord's will, and this will will be done, and it's just it's amazing. Yo, here's the Lord, and God bless you. Amen. A little info on about our, our baptism with, um, with Richard, with Richard and... Shelly. Um, so we started at a strawberry, we made up a strawberry farm leading to a little little area where they wanted to get baptized at near Mangri. Um, where we sat down just talking about just sharing our testimonies with them, just encouraging them on why why we were starting up this, this ministry and why we're in it. And just, just the thing that caught me was that um how she was so shocked and so happy that we're so young and just very hungry for for what we be, what we believe in and just what we want and just just hearing that from her that she's so encouraged seeing that we're all under twenty just makes that just pushes me more just to like you know just to share more just to you know to uh, get more people into the ministry just to show them the truth and just yeah and so we 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 live there. Cause um, so we took too long. Or we took a while just sharing. So they had to um, they had to close up, and then we went to the next to Waikofi Beach. Just uh, we went to Waikofi Beach to um to get baptized there. So we had our we had our baptism study, and just giving them a clear idea on why we're getting why we we're, we're um baptizing them, and just that took us like how long did that take us? Like three hours or something. It took us like two hours yeah, or something. It took us pretty long. So after that, our baptism, our baptism study was talking like it, it was pretty long. Um, just how much they wanted to know about it. Not only baptism, but just the other things too. And we got so comfy that he wanted to ask more. Just it just led from baptism to like a fellowship and everything that he had questions for. And just just so happy that he was showing his his hunger for the Lord and just yeah, that bro. Glory to God, he's finally got the revelation. And just, and then after our fellowship, baptizing him at like, what, 11? Him and Sieli. Yeah, him and Sieli baptized him. I was baptizing Richard and Sieli at like 11, mate. And what hit me, bro, she started, she was so, she was so happy, like, man, she finally felt free. And Sieli's baptism that she started crying. And just for, for like me, my first, the baptism there, or not my first, but like where, where we finally took our training wheels off, and it was me and Josh just, we led the baptism, and just to see her cry, just man, it was great. And then as we finished, we came out to get changed, the security came, came down to lock up and there and, and asked us why we're still here, and asked if we went for a swim, and we see we just finished our baptism. And him just smiling, and he said, we were actually supposed to close up two hours ago. And just like, man, that, bro, that was, man, that was all God. And just, yeah, glory to God, they finally opened their eyes. 
And if you are hungry for the Lord, just encouragement to you, just like Steve Strong and Faith. Glory to Jesus, right?